Hero Siege is an ARPG similar in playstyle to the likes of the Diablo series. It's got fast-paced action from a top-down perspective, and there are many classes to choose from, 15 in total currently as of the recording of this video. Each class has unique talents and abilities that they can use as they explore through the game's seven acts. Each act is split up into several levels, where the player is dropped into a small enclosed area and has to kill a certain amount of enemies while dodging traps and exploring randomly generated mini dungeons. It's similar in style to an arena as it's a small enclosed area and while the shape is almost always the same, traps and whatnot are randomly generated inside of it including dungeons. Once enough enemies are killed, a mini boss spawns at the start point of the level and when it's defeated the player moves on to the next level. At the end of each act there is a final boss of sorts that has its own boss room. Randomness is a huge part of this game and it includes a ton of RNG. Everything from the monsters to the loot to the traps across the level is all randomized each time you go through one of those portals. Every enemy also has a chance to have some sort of random modification as well, such as reflecting projectiles or causing ex explosions upon death. Furthermore, the boss that you face at the end of each level is random, and all bosses have rare versions that sometimes show up who have more health and do more damage than the regular versions of said boss. When you first start playing, combat is more slow paced and you shoot a lot slower, enemies seem to be less numerous, smaller, but as you reach higher levels and higher difficulties, enemies will have more and more random attacks, meaning that the endgame content is very, very hectic. A good way that I put it is that the early game is difficult because enemies are hard to kill and you're very weak while the end game is difficult because of all the random hazards you have to avoid. Despite being able to level up to 150, leveling is quick and addictive as you rack up more and more powerful gear. Even when you do reach max level and beat the highest difficulty, there's still more to do with the wormhole system, where you enter a random level that increases in difficulty with each wormhole level, similar to the way that uh, World of Warcraft has the Mythic Plus dungeon system where you get better and better gear and fight harder and harder enemies as you go through the areas. These things combined with the fact that there are so many classes to pick from and a multiplayer mode means that this game has tons and tons of replayability. It gives the same kind of action-packed loot orgy gameplay of a game like Diablo or hell, it even kind of reminds me of playing Borderlands back in the day with the sheer gluttony of loot that you get. It takes all the action and combines it into one tiny little package, complete with retro-inspired graphics. The repeatable level design means that it's easier to stop playing and start again, breaking it down into small chunks, whereas in games like Diablo, you're often thrust into new and increasingly complex areas with stories and quests and whatnot that you have to explore throughout, meaning that the gameplay in Hero Siege is more compartmentalized and easy to pick up on the fly, because it's so easy to just go from point A to point B, and it's not really an open world. Now granted, that does mean that things get a little bit more repetitive because there's not really unique scenery or anything like that. However, the fact that there's so much randomly generated stuff, traps, dungeons, hazards, enemies, even the bosses, means that you're really not gonna get bored. It's because it's, it's never gonna be the same every time. The class design is great, the art style is fantastic, and the gameplay is really, really hard to put down sometimes. I give Hero Siege a definite thumbs up. 